Welcome back everybody to another episode on Hot Cup of Web Gaming. I'm Bob Inc. and we're back again with Space Engineers and we are back with our unfinished uh, two-stage rocket here. Uh, we got the bottom half welded up. Got to weld the upper half but what we're also going to be working on is that we need hydrogen here. Uh, to trans so be able to transfer into things like this um, you know I guess that's one thing I need to figure out for this is how we want to connect to it to power it up uh, recharge all the batteries and get the hydrogen into it but I think we'll start by um, we need to equip ourselves with a hydrogen tank and the basement seems like as good a place of any for one. Uh, let's see. Tank. Here we go. So a hydrogen tank, it's way too big for right there. Man, these things are massive. I don't know, do I want it there? Uh, if I put it there, I think it connects right away with the storage, which is good. It is mostly out of the way. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll just we'll just put it here for now. Let's get our build components here, and we'll queue that up. And we'll start grabbing parts. And then we'll have to grab a uh, one of our miners and we'll have to find a lot of ice we can mine up. Because I know it takes a lot of ice to uh, fill these things up. Oop, sounds like we got some wolves out there. Alright. Tubes. There we go. Alright, let's see. And it's already filling. Uh, why do we have an incomplete yield module? 20 superconductors. Do we have superconductors? We do. That's weird. Why didn't I build them all? Or finish building this? There we go. Alright, well, we have a yield module now. Uh, let's see where we're at for ice. Ice. Uh, so, yeah, we don't really have much ice. Uh, let's throw down all my extra parts here. There we go. Alright, so we gotta go get ourselves a miner and see if we can find some ice. And it looks like we can have our pick of miners. Let's see, is this one... This one's empty. Where's the charge level at on this guy? 87% and this one is 87% all right well I guess don't really matter they're both the same so let's just take this guy and find us some ice let's see you should have some marked here All right, and then let's see which one's closest. That one's at four kilometers. That one's five kilometers, and we haven't really been over that way much, so let's head over to this guy.
All right, we're arriving at our destination here. And let's, so we gotta get down here and find where the ice is located. There we go. So it should be like down here. There we go. Alright, we're heading towards the ice. Hopefully it's a decent deposit here. If it is, I might just set this to auto mine. Alright, looks like we're here. Let's mine us out a little opening here. Usually I like to do this just so you got room to maneuver around when you're down in the holes. Alright, so we got ourselves an opening here. We've got uh, a handprint of ice here. So let's uh, mine this stuff up. That is not a very deep channel of ice, that's for sure. Um, got a decent amount of ice. We picked up a little magnesium from around here. But we got some ice and the ship is full, so let's find our hole out of here. And it looks like we went through some silicon to get here. I don't think we have any room to pick any of it up, but... Well, here, if I do this... There we go. Make some room. I'll just pick up this stuff. There we go. Now, this is silicon, right? Yep. Alright, well, I freed up some space, so let's... Oop. Floating around here. Let's grab a little more of this ice. And I think from now on we might just go to the mountain tops to grab the ice. There we go. That should fill everything back up pretty much. Looks like it. Alright, so let's find our way out of here let's just make the opening a little bigger there we go all right so let's uh, head back to base here and unload So it looks like we picked up a little engine damage while we were down in the hole there. So we're going to have to uh, fix that up. It looks like we lost back two thrusters. Might have backed into something. I'm not sure what exactly, but it doesn't seem to be hurting our flying ability too much. 
or hoverability anyways. So let's uh, get this guy in here and we can uh, I always confuse myself trying to back up let me tell you all right so let's dock him let's uh, get rid of what we have in our inventory there we go Alright, so we got two engines here we need to fix. Uh, let's get the parts for those. There we go. And we're just going to have to be a little more careful, I guess. Oh, this one's got damaged engine too now. Did it just do that or what? Almost wondering if I should move this engine. If I move it there, now well, let's see. Uh, hydrogen atmospheric thruster. Just a little guy. That's all we need. Uh, there you go. Let's see if I put here. And let's just, we'll just move this one and put it here. So with it not being on the corner as far, hopefully it won't catch on things. Um, so let's cut that one off and put it here. And I might have to go in yeah, I'm going to have to go in and um, restart the script. Um, continue. There we go. Because uh, when it detects damage, it'll automatically send the ship back. So, everything was just going to sit there and not go back out. But now it should go back out. And we'll do the same with this one. So hopefully that will help with that problem. And then we can fly back out. There we go. All right, so we got snow up on these mountains here and I don't think they're that far away. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. So we're gonna head over here and we'll grab some more ice and this will be process for a little bit of time I guess be skipping over some of it so yeah this place is only three kilometers from the base now it's snow and not ice uh, deposit but I mean there's so much of it here and it goes a decent amount on the surface as you can see I've been here once before already so all you do is you just gotta scrape the surface so that's pretty easy all right, so we're flying back now. Um, I believe that the ice kind of functions like um, the top layer of dirt. Um, like you can mine it and you're gonna get stone, but you're not gonna get as much stone as when you're deeper in the surface. I think the ice functions the same way. I think um, the snowpack will get you ice, but you won't get as much ice as if you were mining a ice deposit. Um, so it's like you, you have to mine a larger area of snow to get the equivalent of a smaller area of ice pack. Which uh, makes sense, I guess, you know, in the grand scheme of everything. Uh, let's get ourselves docked in here without crashing, hopefully. Well, since we are filled up, we're having some troubles here with the left and right. It's probably where those miners are the weakest is their side thrust. Meteor storm inbound. Uh, let's get ourselves in here before the media media for the media storm for the meteor storm. All right, let's back up and dock us in. And I did grab some ice on my person. It's a good way to grab some extra 
or if you're when you're out mining is to just uh, as long as you can access the rest or even if you can't you get out and you grab it and throw it on your person and fill your inventory Thanks, that media store Mete meteor I'll say it right one of these days looks like some of it hit uh, they should have ammo in these things shouldn't be a problem yeah got ammo although I'm not too worried about it as long as you're not hitting the, the base pads or anything we should be good uh, so we got this sucker we gotta weld up um, I would like to see something though uh, yeah Okay, we do have a large connector on the side here, or a well, a large port anyway. Um, I think that might be our ticket to fueling this guy. All right, coming up, thinking of an idea here. Kind of like a uh, NASA rocket fueling thing. Um, have like a stand on a piston that'll go out and connect to this guy. Uh, let's see, connector. So if I throw a connector on here, oh, I need some steel. Uh, let's see, steel plates. There we go. Alright, let's get some color matching here. So if we throw, just might as well balance them out. Throw those on there. Uh, let's get those parts. Weld this guy up. All right, so my thought is that you build a connector here that'll go out and go down into the ground here. So at some point here, I'd say probably closer to this, the better. Um, and of course, the whole ship is right in the middle of a line. Thinking this line might have the best chance of connecting without having to move that ship. So if we let's see, if we take and put a junction in here. Oh, we need interior plate now. Um let's see, plate. Just grab some of that and well, that was construction. Where's some interior plates? There we go. Alright, so we'll throw that in the hole here. But then what the thought is... Is... Let's see. So if I do that... With that... And then if... If we... Put the junction here... And then let's put the piston here. Uh, right there. And then we put some more piping on the end. Nope, oh, I don't think we need the piping. Let's put the connector on the end of the piston. And uh, I don't know if that's going to line up. Might almost be better off. How does it look from here? Uh, that's not going to work at all. It'll hit the solar panel. Uh, well, we'll build it and see what happens, I suppose. Best thing I can do, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so let's 
Get this guy welded. Alright, so we got that welded up now. Now it'd be just a matter of extending the piston out. And let's uh, minimize the distance here so we don't knock anything over, hopefully. Um, Alright, so let's do one more meter. Let's see, let's go 2.5, no, let's go 3.5, and, oh, come on, really? Well, I suppose I'm not going to know until there's power on this thing, if it can connect. Uh, so let's screw it. Let's grab a battery here. Um, weld this guy up. And let's see. We got the parts. We have the parts. We can do this. Alright, so I think we have to turn the battery on. Um, guessing it's this battery. Let's see if I extend the piston a little bit further, if it'll connect. Uh, let's go four. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait. Stop moving. Thrusters, thrusters, stop. Crap! Crap! Come on! Thrusters! No! No! Okay, so we got the battery welded up. We gotta turn it on. Uh, but before we turn it on, let's uh, get the thrusters turned off. So they don't do anything. Then let's turn this battery on. There we go. Uh, let's connectors. So uh, what's going on here? Connectors. Let's uh, lock these together. There we go. Um, let's see if I can I control this thing. Let's see terminal. Oh, there's no remote on it, so I can't control it. I was thinking maybe if I turn it, but I might just have to push it. Um, Let's see what we got here. Alright. So, we're going to see if we... <laughs> we could totally mess this up again. By pushing on it. I want to push towards the bottom, though. Alright, how's that look? A little bit bit further. How's that? That should be good. Uh, let's turn off um, let's turn off the strength on the 
connector so it doesn't uh, try to pull it in. And let's extend this a little bit more. Let's do 3.8. There we go. All right, we got a connection here. So let's uh, lock those together. And batteries. I don't know where some of these batteries are, but let's put them all in recharge mode. Recharge mode. Alright, so all these batteries should be in recharge. These ones are not for some reason. Uh, let's see, how can I, I get in there from down? here um, okay now everything should be yellow lighting there we go so we got the yellow lights they had red before which means they weren't doing anything so we can put this guy back uh, where's There we go. Let's get him bobbled into place. Alright, so we've built a recharge setup here, or a charge setup here. We'll be able to retract it so it'll be out of the way when we're ready to launch, which is cool. So if we build anything else, we can just uh, build it to accommodate the arm to start with. Uh, so we still need to start welding up pieces here. And eventually we'll fire off into space and check in on the Hot Cup 1 station up there. But until we could do that, uh, let's uh, get started on some welding here. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, so I ran into an issue here, is that... Uh, we need to get these connected and I'm thinking let's go down through here fix that there we go so right now it's just recharging the batteries which is great but we needed to do a little more than that we needed to be able to transfer hydrogen stuff to it so let's uh, dig us a path so we can connect these boxes there we go um, all right so I need to get some interior plates oh I have some never mind all right uh, here we go straight pipes and a turnpipe and ah, let's put a box in there cuz future expansion you never know let's do a curved one there and the straight one in there so let's get parts together for these and let's get us back down in here um Dang it. Should have made that a storage box. Because now I can't get parts when I'm down here. <laughs> Alright. Let's get these welded up here some. Uh, let's dig out here so I can actually get in here and put some little maintenance on this stuff. There we go. Alright. Alright, let's uh might have to turn I'll turn that into a it's not a huge need, you know, like I'm not gonna need it all the time, but But I need I need small motor. I think I'm grabbing parts for the ship. 
Uh, so let's just go put him on the ship. Alright. Uh, what do I need? I needed small motors. Let's see, we need motors. Let's see, uh... Small tubes. Uh, construction. Let's see, construction. And some interior plate. There we go. Alright, now let's see what we can do here. There we go. And I can't reach the last part, so we'll have to go through the hatch here. There we go. And it's all connected up. So now, once the parts are built on it anyways, this tube will be able to transfer hydrogen and ice and what have you to, to the ship. Uh-oh, we got a problem here. Uh, let's see. Hydrogen thrusters. Need to be turned off. It's a good thing the ship was connected because uh, otherwise it would have fired itself off into space. But let's uh, pick up the parts here. And... Oh, I see. Uh, so we discovered a flaw in our design here. And that is the large thrusters are going to <laughs> fire right through this atmospheric thing. But it's not a big problem because this part shouldn't be here when... Uh, when the ship actually takes off, or when those thrusters actually fire. Um, we have to cut these off. It's too bad you can't reattach things in a simpler fashion, but... It is what it is. So let's, uh, we need to... Hopefully... Replace our foot here. Uh, two, and three. There we go. Alright, so that foot's... Uh, well, it wasn't replaced right. <laughs> Alright, oh, wrong one. Let's see, so it's supposed to be one, two. So one past the... I don't want to tip it over when I let everything go, you know? That'd be the last thing. Have another oops. I already had one earlier. I had to... I didn't want to do it, but I, I got too much invested in this. The lesson to the kids out there. Lock your stuff down with feet. And you won't run into the problems like I run into. <laughs> That's what happens when you think and act on the fly. Okay, so. All the thrusters are off, so we should be able to continue making those now. We should be able to get components out of here. Which is nice. And we got... Media storm inbound. Build planner empty. I don't know how it's empty. Alright. 
So we got the guns are taking out the meteors so they don't run into us. The last thing we need is meteors smashing into us. Alright, so we got some parts. And I think we're going to end up calling an episode here. We're just going to continue to do some welding and what have you. So nothing too exciting to miss out on. And uh, yeah, so I hope you catch you. Hope you enjoy this episode. We hope you join us for the next episode on Hot Cup of Web here with Bob Inc. And uh, this is going to be it for this episode of Space Engineers. Catch us next time. We'll see you later. <laughs>